And today I wanted to show you guys how my Korean students reacted to seeing my natural hair for the first time. So a little disclaimer before I show you guys how my students reacted. I'm not allowed to show my students' face in my videos, so that's why you won't be seeing their faces. You'll only be able to hear what they said. And my students range from three years old American age up to about eight years old American age. So yeah, anyway, let's see how they reacted to seeing my natural hair. Hi. <gasps> Whoa, you have candy. For me? Wow, thank you. Oh, what did you make? Sam? Teacher. Yes. Teacher, hair. Changed, right? <laughs> Do you like it? Yeah. Oh, thank you. Your hair changed too. It's so pretty. <laughs> Teacher, owner. Today. Today. School. School. Mm. Birthday. <gasps> Did you eat cake? Three. Three cake? <gasps> Whoa. Friends, mm. three. Birthday. Ah, third birthday. A three friend birthday. Yes. One friend, two friend, three friend. Yes. Whoa, so many birthdays. <laughs> Thank you, Ayan. Ayan too hair is super pretty. My hair is changed. I know, not Ooh. change, but still oh. pretty, okay? Oh. Hey, and Brianna, teacher, what did I do? Hair. Hair what? Hairstyle. Hairstyle what? Thomas. Change. I changed, right? Change. Change. <laughs> Yeah, Brianna, teacher, hair, change. But this is Brianna, teacher, chincha mori eya, permani eya. Did you guys wash your hands? It looks like a perm, but it's not perm. This Brianna, teacher, real hair, chincha mori eya. My real hair, it's not a perm. No perm, no perm. Yeah, it's my real hair. Ah, you guys have to say, can I touch? Can I touch? Yes. Say, can I touch? Can I? That'll help you. Touch. touch. Yeah, you can touch. So that's how my Korean students reacted to seeing my hair for the first time. I was actually quite surprised how they took seeing my natural hair. I live in the countryside, so there are not a lot of foreigners who live here. And if there are a lot of foreigners, most of the foreigners that I see are either Southeast Asians or they're white. So there's not a lot of black people. Actually, I haven't seen any other black people who live where I live. So if my students had a bad reaction to seeing my hair, I really wouldn't have been that surprised. But yeah, for the most part, they said they liked it. They thought it was pretty. I had a few students who were like, kind of like iffy about it or like, it's just so-so or it's not that good you know but nobody actually came out and said like I don't like your hair it's not pretty teacher your hair is weird like nobody said that the younger kids were more surprised than the kids who are in like second and third grade so I was kind of expecting more of a negative reaction from them like I was expecting them to be like oh teacher your hair is so weird what's wrong with your hair but for the most part they just came into the room they're like oh what's that and then that was it they asked some questions they asked if it was a perm but yeah I was super super happy with their reaction so prior to moving to the countryside I actually lived in Daejeon and when I lived in Daejeon I always kept my braids because I felt like the students at my school in Daejeon would not have taken seeing my natural hair so well and I just didn't want to deal with their reactions and their surprise and their negative comments and the reason why I feel like they would have had negative comments is because there are a few times when we were reading certain books about people who lived in Africa or people who looked different from them and they always had something to say about how weird they looked or whatever and during those moments I would always stop them and correct the behavior and try to explain to them that if some student from Africa said the same thing that they just said about that student how would they feel and for the most part they would apologize or they would say okay I understand and they wouldn't say those things anymore but I felt like if I came with my natural hair it would just be a whole ordeal that I didn't want to deal with and not just with the students but the Korean co-workers that I had would always ask me
me about my real hair because most of them could figure out that my hair, like my braids were not real. So when my Korean coworkers asked to see my natural hair, I wasn't ashamed. Like I showed them pictures. I was like, oh, here's my natural hair. Here's what it looked like. And the reactions that I got from them were not good. I remember at my first school, one of the Korean coworkers was like, Ooh, yeah, you should keep the braids. And every time I changed my hair to a style that she preferred more, like if I made my braids thinner instead of thicker, she would always tell me like, oh, this looks better, this way looks better. Just making it very known what her opinion was and also making it known that when I showed her pictures of my natural hair, she didn't directly say like, I don't like it, but her face said more than I needed to know. And then at the other school that I worked at, I also showed my natural hair to a bunch of my Korean coworkers at one time. And the reaction that I got from them was also kind of like, nobody said anything really. They kind of, I was like, oh, here's my natural hair. They're kind of just like, mm. I see. They did not like it and they preferred my braids too. So based off of the reactions that I got from older Koreans who worked at my school, I was like, I don't want to wear my natural hair because I just didn't want to be self-conscious about it. But after moving to the countryside, I just felt like the kids here had a different vibe than the kids at the previous Hagwon that I worked at. And I feel like my school is much more open, much more accepting. When I show them books with students and people who look different from them, they're not making negative comments. And it's quite strange to me actually because I live in the countryside, so they really have not been exposed as much as I would assume kids who live in a city have the opportunity to be exposed to more foreigners, but I just get a different vibe from my kids. But also I shouldn't worry about how people are going to react to me and what people's opinions of me are. And you know, I'd like to say that people saying bad things about me doesn't bother me, but it does. So yeah, I'm happy that I made the decision to wear my natural hair to school. I'm happy that for the most part, everybody liked it. Nobody had anything bad to say. And I am going to go get my hair braided tomorrow, actually, just because I've been wearing it natural for like three weeks now. And I'm kind of uh, tired of waking up early to do it. But yeah, in the future I will definitely be wearing my natural hair more often to school and I'm super happy that everybody liked it. But yeah, I don't want to ramble anymore in this video, but I hope you guys enjoyed that video. If you did, please let me know in the comment section down below. If you are a black person in Korea and you would like to share a story in the comment section about how people react to seeing you when you go out in public or how your students have reacted to seeing your different hairstyles, please go ahead and comment that down below. Please make sure to give this video a like, and if you're not subscribed to my channel, please make sure to do that. And if there's any videos you would like to see in the future, let me know. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys later. Bye!